one, it's the Drea, and last time we made Santa Clauses. So how about making an equally adorable and easy to make pair of stockings or Santa boots? How do you call them? Let's get into the video. You'll need one square of paper, red one side, white the other. This is three and a half inches. Scissors and glue, but this one is optional. Let's begin. With the red side facing up, you want to make a small fold at the top and crease. This will be the boot's cuff. Flip it over so that the white side is facing up, fold in half and crease. It should look something like this. Using the crease in the middle, cut in half. Now you have two pieces, one for each boot. Let's put this aside and work on one. Because this piece is so small, I'll be using this bigger one to show you and hopefully it's easier to see. But feel free to follow the steps with your normal sheet of paper. I just glued the fold we had already made, but this is optional. Now flip your rectangle over so that the white side is facing up. Fold hot dog or taco style, whichever you prefer, and crease. Should look something like this. Be sure that the opening is on the right side. Fold in half so that the bottom meets the top and crease. Again, be sure the open tabs are on the right and the closed ones on the left. Now, fold diagonally so that the bottom meets the open tabs on the right and crease. It should look something like this. Now undo all of those three folds so that you're left with this. Flip your paper over so that the red side is facing up. See the diamond shape? Now reinforce the bottom right crease of the diamond and invert the one on the left. Now fold the entire thing in half while pinching the bottom portion. This is how it should look. Top view, side view, and bottom. Then just continue folding in half following the crease. One more time. Let's see that one last time. It should look something like this, kind of like the letter L. I'm gluing this fold just so that it stays in place. Now fold a small corner at the top and bottom tip of the boot and crease. Open the bottom of the boot and push the top tip in, following the creases already made and crease again. Do the same with the bottom tip of the boot. It should look something like this. I will finish it up by gluing the bottom fold of the boot. Now that it is finished, it should look something like this. This is a Santa boot or stocking sizing chart. This shows how the final result will look if you use a square the size shown below. Unfortunately, that is it for today. I hope this video was helpful in any way, shape or form. If you happen to recreate, please be sure to share with me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or Tumblr with the hashtag DIYSUDRA. I will leave all of my links in the description box below. I'd love to see all of your masterpieces. And as always, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Always feel free and welcome to leave any comments or suggestions on what you would like to see on my next video. And if you enjoy watching and like what I do, please take a moment to subscribe and stay tuned. Until next time, bye!